Greetings, fellow humans. Welcome to a Puerto Rican mug with JD. I say a Puerto Rican mug because I'm actually having a beer in this. Because it's too late for tea and I actually needed the beer. Uh, I am Puerto Rican. This means that I have had better days. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that uh, my island needs help. Uh, Hurricane Maria is a category for hurricane that pretty much decimated my island. If you're <clears throat> not aware of it, by all means, check it up in the news. And if you find anything worthwhile, please share it. I'll talk more about why in a minute. Uh, if there was a worst case scenario, uh, a new option was found in terms of material destruction. Um, so you have an idea. Uh, the island has 78 municipalities. That's how it's divided. 100% uh, of the island is without power. Uh, most of the island is without water, but that should be reestablished soon, hopefully. Uh, communication is sketchy at best. Uh, this means that I've only been able to talk to my wife, who's on the uh, on the island, once today, once yesterday, and I haven't spoken with my mom since yesterday. But everyone's safe, uh, at least for the people that I know. Uh, not everyone is as fortunate to be able to report that. Uh, people at this time do need help. Um, and I'm doing this video because I'm stateside and the, the feeling of impotence is indescribable. Uh, but again, what I feel is immaterial. What any of us outside the island feel honestly doesn't matter at this juncture. Uh, what matters is helping our island and doing everything we can to bring attention to it. I say this not because that our feelings don't matter but because I've seen a lot of people share anguish and stress and anxiety. And I ask that, at least from my perspective, to think better than to do that. If your family can't uh, communicate with you and they see a, an angst-ridden message, well, how do you think they're going to feel when they can't contact you? Um, I'm doing my best to keep calm under the circumstances, and I have been able to contact uh, my mother, my wife, and one of my brothers. I haven't been able to contact the other, but I do know that he is safe. Uh, if this sounds uh, a, a bit dire in tone, it's because it is. Um, the island was decimated. Going back to the last month and a half, uh, there have been countless disasters in the last month. And this is not something that anyone should take lightly. Hurricane Harvey flooded and destroyed uh, Houston with 40 to 50 inches of rain. They're obviously still recovering. Uh, Hurricane Irma wreaked havoc in the Caribbean, totaling countless Caribbean neighbors like uh, St. Martin, St. Thomas, Guadalupe was basically erased from the map, Turks and Caicos, Cuba, countless other places, and it made landfall causing chaos all over Florida. Uh, Downtown Miami got it really bad. Uh, Tampa, fortunately, was spared from the worst expectations, but uh, the, the state did get hit pretty bad. In addition to that, earthquakes in Mexico took an area that was recovering from a storm uh, and offered it an, an, an extra oomph, uh, which is disheartening to say the least. Uh, they are also battered and they're, they're doing their best and they a lot of people are showing the the best colors of humanity, and that's that's lovely to see. At the same time that that earthquake happened, uh, there was there were earthquakes in New Zealand. They had one, and then they they've had several others. I don't know the repercussions um, of these earthquakes because the people that I do know, I haven't been in contact with because I'm doing my best to help people out here. If if I feel 
impotent to help people in Puerto Rico try to imagine someone in New Zealand. And uh, let's be realistic, I can't help someone in New Zealand. I can't help someone on my island. Um, it's a difference of about 10,000 miles. So if anyone has any news about New Zealand, I, I think they were, they were rattled and shook, but uh, not battered like other places. There was an earthquake in Japan, at least the people I know uh, in Japan, I touched base and they seemed to be okay. It was just a scare. Uh, fires continue to rage in Oregon and Canada. And for those who didn't know, uh, in, in Grand Canary Island, in off the coast of Spain. Uh, and now my island has been decimated by Hurricane Maria. And our, also our neighbor, neighboring island of Dominica was pretty much wiped off the map. Uh, for my island, at least, because I don't know the estimates of damage for Dominica and, and other Caribbean islands, I, I haven't uh, been able to see any figures for that. But uh, initial estimates range the damages to be around the 30 billion mark. And structural damages... Unfortunately, not comparable to Katrina, but worse than Katrina in terms of the island. So you have an idea. Um, um, quebradillas e Isabela are two, two towns, municipalities in the northwestern part of uh, the island. There is uh, the Guajataca Dam, which is compromised severely. It has a 24-inch rupture right now and it can give way at any time apparently apparently everyone that's that was asked at risk has been evacuated luckily um entire forests have been wiped clean as if the hurricane that looks like a buzz off basically uh felled an entire forest and basically was stripped bare uh, the difference between my island and uh, Houston and Florida and other places is that it's not being talked about in the news half as much as we need to. Uh, my island is not being talked about in the Congress. In, in Congress, uh, people are obviously worried about Medicare for all and Trump Care and that debate of what's going to happen there. I get it. Uh, there's tensions, and these topics are extremely, extremely important to be discussed. And while we are receiving assistance, monetary aid is not even on the table at this juncture. Uh, so you know, uh, the National Guard and armed forces have been organized and deployed to the island. Uh, supplies are arriving, generators are arriving, uh, potable water is arriving, help is on its way. But going back to stateside versus uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, after Hurricane Sandy, the affected areas received, if I'm not mistaken, around $50 billion in relief in a bill that went back and forth, but eventually it passed, luckily. Uh, for Harvey, <laughs> Congress didn't bat an eyelid, and they approved the $15 billion uh, relief bill. And for Puerto Rico, we're not even an afterthought. We're not even a footnote at this moment. Uh, it's a reality that some people might ask why Puerto Rico matters to the U.S. And here are uh, a few reasons. Firstly, uh, hundreds of thousands of Puerto Ricans have served the U.S. in their, in their armed forces in pretty much every major war that, you, that, that has been had. If you don't believe me, look for the 65th Infantry. So you can see a little bit of the strained uh, relationship that we've had over the years. Um, and then ignore that and recognize that right now there's several thousand uh, Puerto Rican troops deployed all around the world, and actually many of them that are my friends, and some who are actually in South Korea, of all, of all places. So yeah. But uh, we are eligible to be drafted. 
as well as our our um, our island compatriots from American Samoa and Hawaii and and other regions. Uh, we pay the same taxes, even if we get half the benefits. But don't take my word for it. Please look it up, especially everything in regards to Medicare. And lest you forget, and you need a brief uh, history reminder, Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory uh, and has been for since 1898. Let's not do the math at this at this time. Uh, but if you look at your history books, the oldest. Uh, U.S. city is actually Old San Juan, which is located on my lovely island. And there's countless other reasons, uh, but I feel the, the need to remind people that we're not just human, we are a U.S. territory. Uh, we were providing aid to other islands in need in the Caribbean. Uh, there's actually patients that came from St. Martin and St. Thomas who were on the island. We received them with open arms, and then uh, Ma Maria had other ideas in terms of how they were going to enjoy their stay. So basically, they got, and, and the island got hit by Irma as well, but just not even remotely as bad. I've seen before and after pictures uh, of Irma and of Maria and Irma was just a really bad storm in, in regards to Puerto Rico. I know it's a devastating hurricane that decimated other places, but in terms of Puerto Rico, the, the level of luck that the island had in terms of that hurricane is ridiculous because at, at the last moment it veered north like 15 miles. And although it did damage, and, and it didn't do catastrophic damage. But let me clear something up. It did do damage, and there's been there are people who have not had uh, electricity or water since Irma passed. That's going on a month, and the forecast right now is that the island will be without power for at least nine months. Are some of the more realistic expectations, but let us remember that. Puerto Ricans are U.S. citizens. I do have a U.S. passport. I know that some people don't necessarily like that, but it is a reality. And we need help. That is also a reality. Uh, if you want to learn how to help, there's countless places online that you can check. Um, I am using my Facebook author page and my personal page and my Google Plus page and Twitter uh, to share uh, donation efforts and valuable information for people on and off the island. For people on the island, I'm sharing information about where they can find food, gas, uh, pharmacies that are open, an ATM, because it's not like people have credit card systems at this time. As for donation efforts, I, I will be I'm still sifting through information. The intention was to do that in the morning, but uh, other information arose that I thought was more urgent for people on the island. So uh, I basically compiled that information. Uh, if it was in Spanish, I translated to English. It was, it was English, I translated to Spanish, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm trying to use any emotion that I have to try to make a positive impact. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, my family and my friends and my island, not so much. Everyone's safe and accounted for, at least of my friends and my family. Uh, but obviously, one wants to do anything that one can to help. So to my family in Puerto Rico, I doubt you can currently see this. Uh, but please know I'm doing all I can to help and will continue to do so. I had a ticket for next week. I will be canceling that uh, because it is not the prudent time to go to the island. The island is decimated. Uh, roadways are are blocked. 
and I will be taking food and water away from people who direly need it. This is my opinion, um, but I feel strongly that it is the right course of action. I will be rescheduling my trip to go, and instead of having a wonderful trip and hang out in my island, I will be there to help. Um, we are a small island, but our heart is huge. And I know everyone is tired of, of Despacito, but seriously, it's a catchy song. <laughs> and we're, <laughs> we're to blame for it. Um, which isn't a bad thing. <clears throat> to anyone who watches this, please share this. And share anything that I share or anyone else from Puerto Rico shares or do you want to share just to help us keep in the news because uh, that the island is not trending is is heartbreaking um, we need help and we need people to care uh, 3.5 million US citizens stranded on an island is not scenario for a messed up dystopian fantasy it is the reality of where I was born and where all of my family is so please help I never ask for help and I'm fucking begging for it so yeah <clears throat> I'll recompose and I'll be uploading another video soon with another effort that I'm doing. I shall continue uh, offering information on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and I shall be tweeting famous people to see if anyone gives a damn and helps us. Thank you for watching. Sorry for this misty wonderfulness. But again, this doesn't matter. My island matters. So thank you for your time. Until next time. Peace, love, and Mikey Rose.